here. How's it going? I feel like this, I'm using this, um, this fabulous light that my good friend Nadia got me and I feel like I am tilted. Do I look tilted, you guys? If you're popping on, let me know if I, do I look tilted? <laughs> I don't understand how this stand works. Can you guys hear me? Can you hear me? Yep. Hey guys. How's it going? You can't hear me? You look good. Thank you. I appreciate it. Lauren, you can't hear me? Can you guys hear me? <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Yes. Okay. Lauren, you said no. And I think you were saying no, I don't look crooked. All right. Cool. Cool. Um, sorry, I'm late. I was on a call and, um, and so, woo, guys, it's been a crazy day. I'm looking at my hair. My hair looks nuts. All right. So I'm like rushing around like a mad woman because tomorrow I'm leaving again. I know I just came home from Mexico, but I'm leaving again. Um, if you did not hear, I joined a new network marketing company. So I'm really excited because um, it's the regional. It's their their fall regional. So um, pretty, pretty cool. Exciting stuff. Um, Lauren, thank you. You look fab too, I'm sure. You always look fab. So thank you, dear. Um, hi, Anna. Yeah, if you guys are new to me and you're just popping in, please drop me a one. If you're new to Julie Burke, um, I am a... I'm like a multi-preneur, let's just say that. So I've been in network marketing, real quick, I'm gonna share my story, because I said I just switched companies. I've been in network marketing for five years, um, came into the profession, knew nothing about network marketing, like zero, like did not even know the profession existed. It's been crazy. So I used to own franchises, I used to own uh, sandwich shops, okay? And um, I basically was completely stressed out after eight years of owning those, found network marketing and um, loved it, like loved the concept. I did a little thing in direct sales for about six, eight months and um, I was gone all the time to home parties, you guys, like all the time dragging like all of this heavy stoneware and candles and sometimes wouldn't come home until midnight and made like zero dollars. Okay, so anyways, then I find network marketing and I created um, a six-figure business in a year and then a multiple six-figure business. And I was doing strategies offline, but basically what I started doing um, and fairly quickly, I started seeing how powerful uh, Facebook was. And so I primarily, I, I basically just started building my business through Facebook and then I taught my team. And basically they were all, we were all they were duplicating what I was doing and what I was teaching. So, um, I, about a year ago, started my own training company. So I do coaching and mentoring. Um, I actually do some uh, um, an affiliate with a company called EMP, a, a fabulous company where we teach people how to bring their business online. Um, but I have my own uh, coaching business and then also I create my own products. And um, my joy and my passion is really to help home-based business entrepreneurs to teach them how to leverage social media and how to leverage um, other tools and resources to build their business online so they have more time freedom, right? Because we're all in business. You guys, if you're in business for time freedom, um, I want you to drop me a two. Drop me a two if that's why you're in your business, right? Am I the only one that wants Time frame. Everyone says, like, you travel so much. How are you traveling that much? Because I have profitable businesses. I am able to build them anywhere in the world. Anywhere in the world. I don't have to be home with, you know, we could be in Disney World and I could be building my business. I could be, I have a lot of systems and automation set up in my business. A year ago, I seriously became obsessed with learning about sales funnels, okay? 
And I know if I have some network marketers on here, you hear the word sales funnel and you're like, what the heck is a sales funnel? You guys, a sales funnel is basically your offline process bringing it online. So you, you meet somebody, you're actively prospecting them, you have to get their number um, or their Facebook, you, like you become friends on Facebook, whatever your, your approach is, and then you then take them to the next step, which is then sending them the tool, because now you have them interested, and then you send them the tool, and then you have to follow up, okay? So that's a sales process. That's a sales funnel. It's just an offline sales funnel. Um, I do online sales funnels. So basically, I brand myself, I attract them to me, they come in, they pop in their email, boom, they immediately find out what I'm all about, or they buy a product, or they want to join my company. Like, it's so much easier. Um, if you were on my live on Monday, I talked about my mentor Kate's process of what she taught me that I created six figures in my business very, very, very quickly. Um, and it was something that she learned in her business, and that was how to host an online event so your message is reaching more people at once. And she basically has this four-part free video series. So if you want the four-part video series, and I had a ton of people asking for that on Monday, but if you want the four-part video series and you are not on my live on Monday and you want to be able to learn how to leverage your time in your business, how to create sales, how to automate your business, I need you to drop me ready in the comments and I'll make sure that you get that link, okay? So hosting an online event just means that you don't have to go to hotel meetings, you don't have to go to home parties. You guys, I don't do any of that anymore in my business, okay? Um, you basically create the event. The event has to be created in a certain systematic way and this is what she teaches to where um, you could build your business in 60 minutes a week. I know because I've personally done it. I have personally done it. I have hosted one, two, three, four, I think five live events from March until now. Five live events. So it's five times that I spent 60, some of mine go a little longer, 90 minutes because I do some Q&A. Five times it's 60 to 90 minutes from March until now, I've created six figures in my business just from this one strategy, okay? That's what I'm talking about. And that's what Kate teaches. And I've utilized her method to use over and over again. But then guess what? After I've done it live, I automate the process through what? A sales funnel. So when I'm sleeping, when we're sleeping, <laughs> I, somebody in Australia could be watching my presentation. Somebody in China could be watching my presentation. Somebody in you know California could be watching my presentation. It is by far the fastest way to build your business, okay? But this is just one way. So again, if you want that link, you have to comment ready because I'm, I'm not just gonna put the link here, okay? All right, so yes, super, 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 super effective strategy. So thank you, Kate, for teaching me that. And now guess what? She's allowing me to bring it to all of you, all right? So if you want the free training, let me know. Um, but what I wanna talk about today is uh, Facebook Live, okay? Because Facebook Live has been a huge part in building my brand, okay? And I, um, I went inside my private group, my Success Junkies Club, and um, we actually just changed the name, I just changed the name, and everyone is thrilled and they love the name. But the only way to get into my private group is if you have purchased uh, past products. So my Success Junkies Club. So I went in my Success Junkies Club group yesterday and I pulled them and I said, hey, so if you want to, or I said, what questions do you have? Like, what do you really want me to talk about on a live? And um, they said Facebook Live. And they had some questions around Facebook Live. And so that's what we're going to talk about today. Um... So, oh yeah, get back if you were on earlier in my in my story. Um, I have been in network marketing for five years, but I, I recently got this question. Um, why are you not with your past company? Because I was with my past company, and now I'm not with my company anymore. I am with a new company. I'm absolutely loving it. And tomorrow I leave for the regional, so I'm very excited. But what happened with my past company is personally, it was a personal decision to leave 
um, because I like to be with a company that is more progressive thinking. Hey, John, how are you, buddy? And that basically is uh, disruptive in this industry because I love disrupting this industry. And I'm all about helping my uh, community learn the online strategies. It doesn't mean that I don't believe in offline, you guys. It's just that offline doesn't really, um, it can be effective, but it's not gonna be effective for anybody. So think about it. If you're an introvert, if you have someone on your team that's an introvert and you're extroverted and you don't mind walking up to someone or having someone sit next to you and be like, hey, so, so what do you do for a living, right? Like to strike up that conversation, how do you really duplicate that? How do you really duplicate that? How do you have somebody on your team and it, that says that you go up to them and you say, listen, I need you to go up to, um, let's go out, let's, let's prospect 10 people and come home with 10 phone numbers. An introvert's gonna like, be like, hell no, I don't wanna do that. That doesn't even, that doesn't even feel good. It, it's so unauthentic. So I'm not saying offline strategies don't work because they work for some people, but for the vast majority of people and because especially our, I feel like our society is becoming more sophisticated with sales tactics and things like that and marketing, um, building your business online is so, there's so much leverage if you know how to build it online. So I teach this and my past company, my past upline did not like me teaching this. So I made it a personal decision after I was a little bit attacked by them to leave and walk away from multiple six figure income. Why? Because I have more respect for myself and, the, the, and what I teach and for all of you. So I did, after a long consideration, I did find a new home and I'm very, very, very blessed. And I love it because we built 100% online utilizing Facebook. And my upline are very, very, very dear close friends and they do the exact same thing that I do, okay? And so um, you want to make sure you're in alignment with your, your team, your upline, your company, the parameters, you have to understand that. And also stand up for who you are and what you believe in, okay? I, I, I know I'm kind of going off base of Facebook Live right now, but I also wanna put that out there. You have to believe in what you're doing, okay? And who you are and what you stand for. And do what makes you happy. I had a coaching session this morning and with a client and um, it was so great. She had, uh, well, it wasn't great, but we were on a Zoom. She had four kids homesick with her, four, and she still showed up for her session. And we were laughing throughout it and her daughters were climbing on her. However, and I'll probably give her a free session because that's just the person I am because I felt so bad. But anyways, she says, you know, my upline, because she wants to be a coach, she wants to be a spiritual coach. She's still building a network marketing business. You guys, network marketing is a stepping stone of thinking outside of the box and being an entrepreneur for God's sakes, right? Would you guys agree? Throw me some hearts or emojis or something if you agree. Network marketing is like the first step into, you know what? I do want to leave my nine to five. This sounds really cool over here. Let me test this out. Let me see how this goes. But here's the thing. People test it out. They treat it like a hobby, not a true profession, right? And so that's where you have to divide people. That's where you want to set people up for success. And you want to tell them, no, listen, this is a profession, okay? And either you show up to work or you don't, period. So when I was talking to her, I, and she loves network marketing, but now she's had a taste of network marketing. She's had a taste of success. And what really drives her and what's really pulling her in her true voice is to be a spiritual coach. She's very much into this. And so I'm, and so we had this heart-to-heart -heart conversation because her upline um, is telling her it's her upper limit. It's her upper limit. Like she, It's just her upper limit because she's scared to grow her network marketing business. And that's BS. Because she truly believes that this is her calling over here. It doesn't mean she doesn't want to build this. But it, you know what I'm saying? So some people are not going to um, resonate with our vision. Okay? And just understand that that's okay. Because it's not theirs, it's yours. Alright? Alright, I'm off my soapbox. But I want to throw that out there for you guys. Because people look at me and they're like, 
How did you leave? Why did you leave? You left 9,000 people on a team. You left multiple six figures. It's not about the money. It wasn't about the money. And yes, I loved the people that were on my team, but it was more of, of self-respect and like what was happening to me and the barrage and the, the house coming down on my, not just me, other people because they didn't like what we were doing. I chose to leave, okay? So here's the thing. We might go through a certain situation in our life and we might not understand why it's happening and we might be super upset and sad, but on the other side of that can be greatness and it can be what you're meant to do and you just have to keep walking forward. All right, guys? Just keep walking forward. All right, so let me get back to Facebook Live. <laughs> Um, so one of the ways I was able to grow such a huge following so quickly is because I was consistent and I was very consistent on Facebook, um, with doing Facebook live. I don't go to any other platform. You guys, I do use, um, buffer. It's called buffer. And what it does is it will take my, not my videos, but my posts and will cross promote to like Instagram and Twitter. Okay. I don't have to do it. So anything I post in terms of memes on my fan page will cross promote over, but not my videos. So, but, so I have that on my fan page. I've chosen to start a fan page because I wanted to move away from my upline. I wanted to move away from everybody I knew and just start fresh. And that's what I did a year ago. So one of the ways I was able to do it is showing up consistently and doing, you guys, I'm peeling from Mexico. If you see me rubbing my skin, I went to Mexico last week. Oh my gosh, I'm peeling. Okay. Um, Stay on track, Joel. Okay, so Facebook Live. Uh, first of all, I know there's a lot of fear around Facebook Live. People are scared, and I get it, um, because they're scared of what they're going to say, if they're going to forget what they're going to say, they're afraid of what they're going to look like, they're afraid about um, not wearing makeup, they're afraid if their kids are going to come busting in the room, they're scared if their dog's going to bark. Um, they are just afraid because it's weird. It's just, it's weird. I'm talking and talking and talking to you guys right now, and and I see you guys commenting, however, and I'm going to get to the comments, but I, I kind of have to stay in a zone or else I'm going to go way off base, but people are nervous and they're scared, and that's okay, and it's okay, it's totally cool to show up on a Facebook Live and say, listen, um, this feels really weird to me. I did this in the beginning. I'm like, okay, nobody's there, but I'm going to keep talking, I'm going to keep sharing, I'm going to keep giving value. I was saying stuff like this. Because there was crickets on my fan page. Crickets. Okay. And, um, but I knew I wanted to start this community. Okay. So when I say fan page, it's fan page, business page, whatever you want to call it. It's the same thing. I don't like calling it a business page because I'm not necessarily here to conduct business. I'm here to share. I'm here to uh, create relationships. I have now created thousands of relationships on this page. So people say, Julie, how does your following go to 33,000 people in a year? And I say, because um, I show up and I'm consistent and I'm me. I'm not trying to pretend to be anybody else but me. Um, people know that I don't come on at a consistent time every day. However, I think I've been getting better with these memes and like posting that I'm going live at a certain time. I've been committing to that, you guys. That's something that I was committed to. In the beginning, I was like, I can't show up at eight o'clock every morning. Like at the time, Bob was my mentor um, for a short while and he was doing one Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. I'm like, do you want to see this hot mess at 8 a.m. in the morning running around screaming at our kids to get ready for school and like shoving a waffle in their mouth? No, nobody wants to see this at eight o'clock in the morning, this household. Okay, so I had that hold me up. I had... um you know, because my good friend Nadia, right? Nadia Melton, for those of you that know her, she's fabulous. She looks amazing, like cover model amazing on her Facebook Lives with John. Um, no, not happening here, okay? <laughs> right? So guess what? I then pushed my, I pushed my Facebook Live out again, right? Like I kept coming up with excuses to do Facebook live. I kept coming up with the excuses because I was so flipping terrified. What are people going to think? Who's going to see me? What if my upline sees? Well, we all know how that turned out with my upline seeing. Um, so, so what, right? Look how it turned out anyway. Like who cares? Um, and 
what if I forget my words? Well, this is why I use notes. I don't have notes today, but usually I, you guys, I use notes. Like I have bullet point notes. And here's the thing, no one cares. All they care is what you're sharing with them. And what you should be sharing with them is not selling your product at all. It should be adding some sort of teachable moment or some sort of value driven content, um, something that is results oriented, something that is inspirational, whatever it is. You know, so even though in the beginning I created this page um, to share some network marketing tips, it's evolved because my Facebook lives have evolved and my content has evolved and I have evolved. You guys understand this? So stop pigeonholing yourself. If you wanna know what to talk about on a Facebook Live, you know, I could come over here, look at, okay? So I have like a whole bookcase of books over here. But I could, put, I could pull out anything, you guys. I could pull out, you know, Miracle Morning. If you guys haven't read this book, it's an awesome book, okay? But look at, like, look at what I do in books. Like, I highlight, do you guys see this, right? So I, I could come, if I need, if I need, and by the way, I don't go live every day, okay? Those that have been following me um, know that I do not go live every single day. I go live, in the beginning, yes, it was way, more, let me rephrase this. In the beginning is I was gaining a following and boosting my videos. So you could boost your videos to, to get in front of your target market, and I'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, so hang with me. But... I was showing up, I did the 30 day challenge, okay? Those of you that are in network marketing space, you follow John and Nadia, you, you probably get this. They do the, like these 30 day challenges. So it was their first one and I didn't do it because I was winning anything or anything like that. I did it for me because I needed to break free of the fear that I had around doing a uh, video. And so um, I did a video and it, they weren't that intentional. It, in the beginning, it was just me getting comfortable with the camera. And so I did like one of my my little guy learning how to ride his bike. That one was on the personal page, right? I did maybe one that was more inspirational on my fan page for people. It wasn't 30 days consistent on my fan page. I did a, a mix in 30 days between my fan page and my personal page, okay? Um, so in the beginning, I was just doing like little two, three minute videos just to get comfortable with it. Then I started becoming more intentional. After I became comfortable, I started becoming more intentional. And what I mean by that is creating content around what you want the end result to be or where you want to lead them to and then having that call to action, okay? So if you're in network marketing, you better not have a video every single day that is about a product in your company. Because you're not branding your product and you should not be branding your company. You should be branding yourself, right? And so um, if I wanted to create a fan page, I could create a fan page in health and wellness and fitness because the, that, that's another passion. So I have a passion for on, entrepreneur and I, uh, I have a passion for health and wellness and fitness. So I could have started a page and even though I was with a health and wellness network marketing company, I could have started a page and I could have like went nuts with health and wellness and fitness tips. I could have done Facebook Lives where I was, um, you know, every Monday, like let's just say I picked Mondays. And because Mondays are a drag for most people. So I would do like m motivational Monday, get your body back in shape. And I was showing up doing five minute Facebook Live on a certain target area in my body. So maybe I was doing legs that day and I would do like three exercises and then do, right? So, but what was happening is every single Monday then people would expect it and look forward to your motivational Monday or you could do um, a motivational Monday even if you just want to give like your dose of inspiration for the day, okay? You could do um, your, you could do uh, a recipe a week, right? Um, wacky Wednesday, like join me in the kitchen with my kids. You could do a Facebook live there. Like there's, you guys, there's so much you can do and you don't, you could take the pressure off yourself. So I love when I was doing like on my personal page, the recipes with my kids in the kitchen. And I did like a 
five ingredients or less for busy moms that still want to create a healthy meal. So I was doing that Facebook Live video and the kids were in the kitchen with me and I had some things prepped and then I was just showing them, oh my gosh, people go flipping nuts over recipes. So I could do, I could have created this whole page around health and wellness, but guess what? When I decided to become more intentional, if I was building my network marketing business, I would start showing bits and pieces of, okay, this is what I put in my smoothie. Here's my protein. This protein is the, you know, I've gone through a lot of proteins. This protein is absolutely amazing. Now I'm just holding up the canister. I'm not showing them the name. I'm, or I'm holding up the scooper. I put it in, right? And I'd say what makes this protein so amazing is because it doesn't taste like chalk and it actually burns fat off your body. So that's why I love it because it, I'm like slimming down here. Do you guys see like the difference? So you're just, me you're casually mentioning it and um, you're making it kind of fun and lighthearted. And then later on in a video, you could say, listen, if you have any questions about any of the ingredients I use here, um, just drop me a comment below or message me. Do you see? Like, and so I'm just giving you one example. So with Facebook Live, um, in the beginning, you just do it for to get comfortable with it. Then you start getting more intentional. So I started becoming very intentional with my Facebook Lives. Um, so if I needed content, and you guys, if you need content, oh my God, like it's everywhere, right? So we could go to Google, we could go to magazine articles, we could go to other people's blogs. What are other people blogging? So if I was in health and wellness, for those of you in health and wellness, if, if you're gonna do a fan page all wrapped around health and wellness and fitness, you could go to Betty Rockers, go to her website, go to her blog, Betty Rocker, go to her page, Shailene Johnson, you could go to her stuff, Natalie Jill, um, you could go to Jillian Michaels, right? You could go to Weight Watchers blogs. You guys, it's everywhere. It's just that you have to get outside of your little box and then talk about it. Like I remember there was a Shape Magazine article and it was the seven ways to kick cellulite's um, ass. And I'm like, oh, I love that. And so I took it and what I did is I repurposed the article. I took five of the seven and I repurposed the five a little bit and I made the fifth one something to do around my product. So I actually took four of the seven of theirs and I put the fifth one as mine. I said, if you have any questions about any of these, especially the fifth, um, let me know and I'm happy to help you. You guys, I had three enrollments off that one post. Okay, I had three. Right? So start thinking outside the box, start repurposing. We don't plagiarize, we repurpose. So I could come over here and I could say, okay, well, now my fan page is for entrepreneurs. It's for home-based business entre entrepreneurs looking to leverage social media to build their business. So I work with network marketers, affiliate marketers, and coaches, right? And so I could come to Miracle Morning and I can go, oh, um, the three ways to have unwavering focus. Okay, I'm going to talk about that today. And I'll repurpose the article. I'll throw my own little spin on it because I'm Julie. And that's it. Be on my way. Okay? I could come over here. One of the greatest books I love ever is The Big, the Big Leap. I talk about it all the time. I love this book. There's so much greatness in this book. And I could come over here and, um, oh, look it. I even have this in my book. <laughs> A little perfume sample. <laughs> Sorry, I must have been reading this. I just cracked myself up. Anyways, um, I could talk about the upper limit problem. <laughs> just like um, my client's upline told her she was upper limiting herself. What does that mean? What does that really mean, right? What does it mean to upper limit yourself, right? I could talk about the four quadrants of the zones, right? Um, so I'm just giving you guys examples, right? I could pull out this book. Anyone know the magic, right? I could talk about a law of attraction in one of my videos. So I could come to here and I could say, okay, well, here's some good stuff. I'm going to talk about the three different types of relationships that you want to look for to build your network marketing business and the different personality types to start attracting the right people to you. Do you guys understand? Like you just use this stuff to spark ideas. You are a badass, right? You just use it to spark ideas. And then you sit down and I take an Excel spreadsheet and I write my ideas out. You guys, is this helpful? Type me yes. I, thanks for all the thumbs up, whoever's doing that. I really appreciate it. Type me yes, because I know I've been kind of talking a lot here. Okay, so 
I hope you guys found value in all of that because I'm going to move on and talk about then. So after I did my Facebook Live and I felt more comfortable and I felt like, okay, this is, I think this was a good one. I'm going to boost it. So the reason why I think fan pages are so freaking powerful is because you, you guys, Facebook wants you to spend money and they are going to give the people that are spending advertising dollars more attention than organic reach. Bottom line. The good news is as you start to develop um, this following, like I don't really have to boost my post anymore. Why? Because I have so much action on my page. So. Now I run sponsored ads just like my normal, regular sponsored ads. I don't really boost anything from my page anymore, okay? So if I feel like something's a good video, I might throw some advertising dollars behind it and still try and reach my cold market. Um, however, I'm not going to get totally into Facebook ads right now, but just know on your fan page when you're done doing a live, there is a little blue button. And this little blue button says boost post and you can click it and you could choose how much how much money you want to put behind it, where in the world you want it to go to. So I go to United States, mine go to the United States, United Kingdom, Canada, and uh, Australia. Okay, those are my four markets. Okay, that's why half of my following is overseas. Okay, and I love it. And so uh, you could pick the age group, you could pick the gender, you could pick the interest. So, of course, I'm in network marketing. I'll probably target Eric Worre. Okay? I mean, that's just, hello, everyone and their mother targets Eric Worre. However, I could target a book. I could target someone else's page. I could target um, where women shop, like where I shop. You guys, there's so much you could do. So, you could throw $3 behind your video and it gets right in front of your audience. Okay? And so, that's what I mean by boosting. All right, listen, I'm coming out with um, my fan page funnel domination. I'm actually in the middle of creating it. So that there will be more on that in there um, about uh, fan pages, how to build out a fan page and funnels. But I'm not going to get into everything. I can't get into ads right now. But just know the power behind a fan page is super powerful. Okay. So um, real quick, I have this question and I'll take some questions, you guys. Um... What do, what do you use? I was asked, what do you use to, for Facebook Live? Here's the thing, you use your phone. Like, you use your phone. Um, hold on, I forgot, let me grab something real quick. Hold on. Um, all right, so, you could use you use your phone. You could also use your computer. If you use your computer, it's um, through Be Live TV. So those of you, just so you know, heads up, I'm going to be interviewing Kate on my fan page Monday at 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. You guys want to be there if you want to know more about how to use online presentations to get in front of your audience. You guys, we need to pack the house for her on Monday, okay? Um, it's gonna be super duper powerful, so make sure you show up. Make sure you share this live I'm doing now with your team. I know I talked about a lot, but here's the thing. This is a lot of really good information, okay? Right, because I'm gonna tell you something. The quicker you could get you and your team on the same page about doing Facebook Lives and understanding of Facebook Live and how to maximize your business, literally, you could do five minutes, five minutes a day, five minutes, three times a week. It doesn't matter. Just five minutes to start gaining more traction. There's so much you could do. You could do a product demo. You don't even have to say what the product is. Maybe every single week. I know a girl that on every Sunday, she has taken her audience through her journey of her weight loss. So she never said the company. She never says the product. She says, you can message me or drop me a comment, but I am just, um, I'm just sharing my journey with you because all of you are going to hold me accountable. And guess what? She enrolled 60 people, six zero in one month, 60. You guys, crazy town. Okay. Why? Because she was showing up. She was on her personal page. 
It wasn't a fan page and she was taking her people on her journey. She wasn't saying what she was doing. She was saying, listen, she was talking more about the benefits. She maybe flashed the bottles, but she didn't, she didn't answer any questions at that time. She just highlighted this bottle. This is what it does. This is what this does. It's super simple. Um, I also am following like this diet, right? I'm walking um, every day for 30 minutes. What I have, every Sunday she showed up for her check-in. And this created so much momentum, okay? So Facebook Lives, super, super powerful. Whether it's on your personal or your fan page, does not matter. Um, when I announce with the new company I'm with, I'm not announcing it, I'm gonna go to my personal page. I'm gonna tell people, because I have a following there, like I found a new home. And I'm, le I'm looking for, this is what I'm gonna say, you guys, this is my plan. Um, found a new home, that's gonna be my title, and how excited I am and if they wanna know more, that they could drop me a comment or they could message me, but what I'm doing is I'm only looking for customers. I'm looking for 30 customers in 30 days, and they will be entered into a raffle for $500 to anywhere that they choose, okay? And I will announce the raffle at the end of the month, right? So you make it fun, you make it like a contest. Now, you don't have to do 500 bucks, but let me tell you something, if you have 30 customers coming in, um, you definitely want to, that's, that's a decent amount of money, I would say. And so, you know, even a 250 bucks, right? Anywhere you choose, anywhere that you choose. So I want to make it fun for them too. So not only are they going to get results and they're going to love it, but now there's a contest attached to it, okay? And they can win something, right? It's not just them investing in me and this product, it's me investing in them, all right? So you got to get more creative with your stuff. But here's the thing, so I was asked, what do you use? Well, you see this little guy here. This is a selfie stick. I got it off of Amazon, and the phone goes right here. And you want your phone to go horizontal, not vertical. Some people do it vertical because they like the white lines next to them through the feed because they feel like they get more attention. I think it, I think it looks dumb, I'm not gonna lie. I don't, I don't, I don't really do it. Um, but whatever floats your boat, whether you want to hold it vertical and whether you want to go horizontal. So selfie stick, um, it's a tripod. It's called a tripod. Um, I do not use the Bluetooth option. I just don't. Um, there's a countdown timer for Facebook Live, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, sorry guys. Um, so anyways, I use a selfie stick. What you're on right now is this, uh, light ring that Nadia Melton gave me. It's like uh, uh, a Diva, a Diva 2 or something. You could, I'm sure you could find it on Amazon. It has this like whole stand. It's got this big ring. It's pretty awesome. But this is more expensive, you guys. I don't know what she was thinking. She's amazing though. Okay, so let's say you cannot afford the $200 stand or whatever it is. Um, one of the things you can get off of Amazon is this, it, it's just, it clips your phone and you just put it here like over like that okay and what it does is it just shines more light and it has three different light settings and um, you could just go to Amazon and type in um, a, a portable like uh, phone light okay portable phone light and this will pop up it's just the ring or the ring phone light okay and then if you want like I do my lives outside sometimes um so that's why i use my ear piece so i could drown out the background noise you guys and i just put this in right attached to my phone why are these always like this it drives me nuts um or i am i also have a microphone because i do a lot of videos so this is just a simple mic okay and you can plug it right in your phone and you could hold it right here just then people can hear me clear all right Good? All good? All right, listen, I'm going to answer a few questions. So, Jennifer, no one can hear you good, so use your earpiece. Use your earpiece. Make sure that there's a microphone on it. So you could just plug it into your phone, and then you could even hold your microphone up. This one doesn't have a microphone. Um, all my other ones do. Or you can get this and hook it, or on Amazon they sell microphones, port, like little, like wireless little microphones that you literally could 
plug into the side of your phone and um, your voice will project and so people can hear you and it's really, really cool because <laughs> there's no wire. <laughs> I mean, honestly, these things drive me freaking crazy. Can I get an amen to that, All right? All right. All right, so um, do you do lives on your business page or your personal page or both? Jennifer, right now, I've really just been focused on my fan page. I have not been doing anything on my personal page. However, you just heard what I will be doing on my personal page to announce that I am now with a new company, okay? Um, and if you guys are on the replay, uh, I need you to put hashtag replay. And if you do want the link to um, Kate's uh, video free video series to learn more about online presentations, uh, I need you to drop me um, a hashtag ready so I know, okay? All right, so super helpful, yes, yes, yes. All right, do you guys, I'm going way back. There, there's a lot here. <clears throat> um, Personal development helps for ideas, April. Personal development helps for ideas and just cover up your face with a sticky note and look in the camera. That might help. Yeah, so um, it, I've done that. I actually put a sticky note um, on the my phone before and it did help. Um, however, then I wasn't able to, like, actually when people came on, I wasn't able to communicate with them because that's one thing you want to do is engage with your audience, right? And, um, thank them for showing up and giving them a shout out. Okay. So sticky note for a minimal time, I would say. Uh, Tiffany writes, Jennifer, I totally understand, but guess what? I found out a while back. You don't look at yourself. You look at the camera, sweetie. <laughs> Makes it much easier. Yeah. So super, super important, Tiffany, that you mentioned that. So you guys, when you are doing um, a Facebook Live, you want to look at the the hole, right? Like there's a, like, so I'm looking at it now, but it looks like I'm looking at you, right? But I actually am not looking at you guys. I'm looking there. So I see like, I'll see comments come up or hearts going or what have you, but I'm not looking at them. So that's why I'm saying like, sometimes I don't, I don't engage throughout content because I'm looking at the, um, I'm staying in a zone. I'm looking here. I'll, I'll totally go off base. All right. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Replay ready, ready, ready. Awesome guys. We'll make sure I'm going to, I'll make sure you guys get that link. Okay. And again, I will be back here. Put it in your calendars now. Monday, 12 p.m. Central Standard Time with the wonderful Kate. She's showing up. I'm interviewing her. We'll do some Q&A. She'll talk more about <clears throat> this 60-minute method and how it works and how it's been working for people, okay? Um, any other questions, you guys? I, I This was way longer than I expected. Uh, wow. This is probably the longest live I've ever done, you guys. But I do have to run. I was actually supposed to be somewhere. Oh, my God. Um, but I love hanging with all of you. So thank you for all being here. Are you using Facebook Live for brand building? And do you use webinars for your business? Yeah, David, awesome question. So, <clears throat> yes, I have utilized... Um, I've always been building a brand. I never actually built a brand around my company or product, ever. I didn't even know what branding was five years ago and I was doing it because I was told to create curiosity and that's what I did, okay? So I have been building this brand. Uh, people know me as a mom. People know me as fun. People know me as being uh, genuine and authentic. And people know me as um, being into health and wellness and fitness and healthy living, okay? So when they have questions, they come to me, right? Because I branded myself that way. On my personal page, on my fan page, people know me here or look at me as an expert and authority in this space, okay? So that's how I brand myself here. And um, I do that by bringing good value, I hope good value and good content, and then um, engaging with them and building relationships so they get to know me better, right? Because there is gonna come time where I, I, I will pitch something, right? I will talk about a certain product. And again, it's, it's not for me, it's for you guys. But people buy from me because they know, like, and trust me. See, that's what it's all about. 
because I take time to get to know them and build the relationships. And, and that's, I'm just sharing this stuff with all of you so you understand so you could do the same with your audience. Um, I have people reach out to me all the time that just say, hey, what product of yours should I buy? And I'm like, well, you need, I need more information because I don't want you to buy the wrong thing. So we have this conversation. But imagine that. I have people all the time like, hey, I saw you left your old network marketing company. I want to build with you. What company, you know, or how do I join? Right? And I'm like, well, wait, have you heard of my company? Do you see what I'm saying? Like, it's just totally different when you brand yourself. Okay. Um, now for the webinars. The webinars I use strictly for business, but I am going to create a webinar that I will automate for, uh, I'm going to be coming out with group coaching. And so I will do one for that. And I probably will also do one for my network marketing business because you guys, it's just, it's like a machine. You're building a machine and then it runs, it continuously runs. So I know it was a little bit more of a lengthy um, answer, but I want to make sure that that was cool and like that you understand why I utilize um, online events, online presentations, webinars, whatever you want to call them, master classes, whatever the lingo is for you. Um, I like to call them trainings. Okay, I, I'll do like a live training. So that's why I conduct webinars, and um, and then you set them up on autopilot. So. Very, very cool. Um, lies are always pixelated. What do I do? No, I don't think they are. I could be wrong, but I don't know much about the whole pixels. All right, guys, listen, I don't see any other questions. Again, if you want that training, uh, what is the best? Oh, I don't know if you want to ask me that, um, but I will just answer it really quick, Kathleen. Uh, go to go to webinar is probably the best. I webinar jam froze up on me the last ten minutes of my webinar. It was it was it was bad news bears. Um, but what happened afterwards um, was super effective of what I did. So that's a story for another day. That's called email marketing. Um, but uh, if you're gonna evergreen it, you need you need ever ever webinar, Kathleen. So. You need that platform, so you might just want to actually go because go to webinar is expensive. Um, you could try it out, I think, for a month, but go to um, webinar jam and whatever webinar you could use then to automate the back end of it. Okay, cool. All right, guys, I really got to run. Um, I hope you guys found value, and you guys share it. Share this. Share this. Tag your teammate, and again, drop the ready if you're ready to get the link for Kate's training, okay? I'll see y'all real soon, bye.